We begin with a change of course. Two years after Kevin Nishida, a security guard, shot and killed while protecting a news crew in Oakland, the district attorney's office is filing new charges, and that includes charging a different person with the actual murder. As NBC Bears' Valina Jones shows us, so that change in charges comes as news to Nishida's own widow, who's been pushing for harsher penalties. The three men accused of shooting and killing Kevin Ishida during the attempted robbery of a TV news crew two years ago were back in a Dublin courtroom facing new charges, including gang and gun enhancements, which would increase their prison time if convicted. So I'm very happy that all of that has been added, but again, it can be changed, and that's what I'm worried about. Is she going to stand by the word of that paper that they're submitted today, or will she change it again? I don't know. Virginia Nishida is Kevin's widow. She knows Herschel Harrell, Shadia Mitchell, and Leron Gilbert all face murder charges, but DA Pamela Price has been vocal on not overusing enhancements. That's why Virginia asked both the governor and state attorney general to step in and add gun enhancements. It wasn't until DA Price held a news conference this afternoon that she learned this. All three men will face gang and gun enhancements for the first time since 2021. We have an obligation to get it right. I was not aware of it. Um, you know, none, nobody that I asked in the courtroom, you know, that is leading this case knew anything about it as well, about her announcement this afternoon. Price is now also pointing to a different gunman, announcing the man responsible for shooting and killing Nishida is Leron Gilbert, not Shadia Mitchell. The previous prosecutors who charged the case under my predecessor made certain mistakes about who was responsible for the murder of Kevin Minashita and failed to include some charges that we deemed appropriate. Attorneys for both Mitchell and Hill objected to the adding of gang enhancements. They argue there's not enough evidence. In a statement, Gilbert's attorney said, quote, no one should trust the police work in this case, adding the detective couldn't convince the DA who did the shooting. With that and enhancements, if convicted, all three men face anywhere from 78 years to life in prison. I want life in prison without parole. Kevin doesn't get parole. He doesn't get to come home. In Oakland, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.